What up? You got Mr. Smith.50, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, or Cinco Smith, depending on where you're tuning into this video. And in this video, I just want to speak to the people who are considering investing, may not have invested before, or just may be new to investment or feel newer to investment, and just kind of say, what should you be investing in starting now? So I don't want to keep this video too long. I just want to kind of give you something to paint a picture, slash, give you some homework and then give you something that can put some money in your pocket in the form of two stocks for free. So that being said, first of all, let me give you the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't play one on TV. I am just a person who's studious and learning. And as I learn, I want to teach. So that being said, I understand that if we understand the importance of ownership and stocks is a basic level of ownership, not excluding anything else that you may be interested in, such as real estate and whatever else that may come along with it. But stocks is a basic level of ownership. That being said, you want to tap into ownership. Otherwise, you will never create wealth. Otherwise, you'll never have something to leave and pass on as an inheritance or some type of legacy if you're not investing. So stocks is one way to invest that allows you to transition some of your hard work that you've done while being here on in the form of something that is an asset which means that it makes you money versus passing on some debt you know so and throughout the journey you may go ups and down have ups and downs and that's okay but you should be at least striving to position those who come after you to get in a better position now we like to call this owning a piece of america if you own stocks especially if it's invested in different parts that create the fabric of our country, then you are indeed owning a piece of America. That being said, let's talk about it. What are two of the, what are areas do I feel a person who's new to investing, where should they consider investing their money? Like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not me recommending saying do this. This is just me giving you something to think about, consider, look into, look up, look up the definition, whatever the case may be, and grab you two stocks free. Now, the areas that I feel you should invest, are areas that allow you to leverage the genius of others who are smart and savvy when it comes to stocks. That way you're not relying on your own understanding. You research it based on seeing how well it's performed and things of that nature. But when you leverage the smarts of someone else, you're like it's like you're hiring a LeBron James to play the game for you if you know you can't dunk or, or do what it is that he does on the court. It's no different. You want to hire the LeBron James of the game and let them put certain things together and you leverage their knowledge. So two of the main areas that I see that this is a possibility outside of just leveraging a person's knowledge, you want to also position yourself to minimize risk. Minimizing risk meaning you minimize losing money. And when it comes to investing, of course, you can lose money. Of course, it is something that has a level of risk to it, but it also has a great level of reward. And if you do your due diligence and start understanding it, then it has a greater reward potential than the risk. But if you can minimize risk all across the board, meaning minimize the likeliness of you losing money long term, then guess what? You position yourself to build wealth over time and it compounds and you start to get a feel of it. And then you can start to rely on your own understanding as you progress. But starting out, leverage the wisdom of someone else and also minimize the risk. So how can you leverage the wisdom of someone else and minimize the risk simultaneously? Well, this is what I want you to look up. So you might want to take a pen and pad out, take some notes and then uh, look it up for yourself. But I strongly encourage you to immediately grab your two stocks free that I put in the link below. And it's basically bit.ly forward slash two stocks free. But I put the link below so you can grab it. But the two areas that uh, will allow you to do both simultaneously, which is leveraging someone else's smart and minimizing your risk, is if you invest in something like a mutual fund. That's one. Look it up. Look up the definition. I won't go into detail of what a mutual fund is unless you want me to in a future video. But in this one, I won't look up mutual fund and then also look up ETFs. ETFs is an ex exchange traded fund. Look that up as well. But how is it that they allow you to leverage someone else's smarts as well as minimize risk? I will give you that. For one, they are both groups or bundles of stock that were put together by individuals who did some research and understand how to qualify certain stocks. 
for the most part. Now, there are, you know, some are better than others. I will say that. But it's people who put groups of stocks together that has some wisdom and some knowledge in stocks. But more importantly, it's multiple different stocks bundled up in one. So what that means as it relates to minimizing your risk is that if you can invest in a bundle of stocks, it's a lower chance of all of those stocks going down simultaneously or the same day or the same week, same month. It's a it's a low possibility of that happening. So what that means is no matter what, at some part of the day, different shares that you have in those in that bundle of mutual funds or ETFs is growing. Some may be dropping, some may be growing. And then you can have it to where it's invested in a particular sector. So it might be a bundle of tech stock. It might be a bundle of stocks related to agriculture. It might be a bundle of stocks related to real estate, you know, things of that nature. And REITs are another one. I ain't, I ain't, ain't planning to include that one, but REITs, R-E-I-T, you want to look into that because it, it taps into real estate, but it gives you a bundle of particular stocks. And now, even though you are investing, you're minimizing your risk because some, some companies might take a dip while others make a rise and your money is still growing simultaneously. But there will be some times where all of them are growing and your money is growing as well. Same with ETFs. Now, they vary in, in, in different ways, but that's not what this video is about. But if you're new to investing, strongly consider leveraging the wisdom of someone else and minimizing your risk by getting a bundle of stock. Because if you just buy one individual stock just because you have a passion or you're emotionally attached to that stock, you can end up overpaying for the stock, meaning you buy it at the wrong time, or you can end up losing money just because it wasn't what you thought it was and you didn't vet it properly because you just didn't have an understanding. You just jumped in and say, oh, I'm gonna buy this stock. You know, and I get it. It's good too. And we've even recommended it. it's good to buy certain stock that you already spend your money at, but you still want to consider looking into it and, and looking at the track record and thinking from a long-term standpoint as it relates to being able to see if that company has a, a bright future or if it'll be around, is it, is it a staple in a community? And this is strictly sp speaking to people who are interested in long-term investing. This isn't about trading, things of that nature. I'm not knowledgeable in, in trading just yet, but understanding, leveraging the mind of someone else, minimizing your risk by getting a bundle of stocks that allow you to ride the wave and the progression and the, the growth of a group of stocks without taking a hit by focusing on one stock at a time. So it gives you a team versus you just putting all your money and eggs in one basket. That's the difference. Hopefully that makes sense. So look up, do your homework, mutual funds and ETFs, and also look up the bonus REITs, R-E-I-T, which is a real estate investment trust fund. Look those up and grab your free stock below. Click the link below and it should say bit.ly forward slash two stocks free and you can go ahead and claim your stock you get one basically for just signing up and then you get another one once you make your hundred dollar deposit you know just to get in the game and, and and get your get your wheels going as it relates to growing your stock and if you're already investing and you don't have this particular app then go ahead and grab it it got some good perks to being a part of it and it'll just kind of diversify your portfolio and if you like the platform then adopt it but that being said, that's all I have. Take notes, let me know your comments or questions that you might have or other videos that you want me to dive into pertaining to personal finance, credit, things of that nature. But I felt the urge to do this video because so many people want to invest in stocks and they think from an angle of them having to figure it out, it all out versus leveraging and minimizing. So that's all I have. Senko Smith signing out. Salute.